from Starter School Crochet. Today we're going to learn how to do a front post double crochet two together, which is a decrease stitch, but you're doing it around the front, the posts of the stitches from the row below. So what you do, I've already done a chain and I've chained nine, and you're going to start off with most of your patterns will probably have you chaining two at the end of your row. So I've already done that. And you're going to go into not the stitch that you're going to go around, but not the stitch that you're working your chain from. You're going to go around the, very, the post of the very next stitch. So for a double crochet, you're going to yarn over first, insert your hook to the right of the stitch, in and around the stitch post, and out the other side. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through once, and we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops, and we're not going to complete the double crochet because we're going to do a decrease. So yarn over again, and then go in around the next stitches post, in through the front of the right side and out through the left side of the post. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then you'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And there you've completed your first two stitches and decreased by one. So you turned two posts into one and you did it in the front, front post. So let's do it again. Yarn over, go into and around the post of your next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Then don't complete it, yarn over, go into the next one, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three. So what we've done here is we've turned four stitches into two stitches. So you got your two stitches up there. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook in and around the post stitch. Yarn over, pull up one, and yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through two, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. And so there we have three decreases. We went from sti six stitches down to two. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and thanks for watching.